Finally play some Apex. Crow, stop playing games and start reviewing Gundams. Steve, I don't wanna. No, Steve! God damn it! I'm about to win! No! <sighs> Hello, YouTube, and against my will, this is the Crow Sama. So, this kit today that we're gonna do a pose video on is the higher resolution model Gundam Red Frame Stray. Now, this is a very, I would consider a very top tier Gundam model. It's super detailed. The articulation is just completely out of this world, unlike many models I've ever handled in my entire life. Um, just the level of detail, some of the um, you know die cast parts that are in there. This is just worlds and worlds ahead of much you know pretty much any model that I've built in the most recent years at least. Uh, but regardless, we're gonna do a pose video because I want to showcase uh, just the range of movement this kit is going to have, much like I did with the actual review. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to go go ahead and give out a shout out to my sponsor, which is New Type formerly known as Gundam Labs. So with new type, you can definitely find this kit in their shop and for a decent price. And if you are just really wanting to uh, kind of bust down the price a little bit more, utilize that promo code Krosama, so that way you can get 10% off. But let's go ahead and get into the poses. So the rules are very simple. We are going to be doing multiple poses and I'm gonna showcase them in just a more quick time kind of uh, reel. And you can just see every step of the way of how I put this kit into the pose that is going to be showcased. So without further ado, let's get into it. And here is the first pose. So with this pose, I just decided, hey, I wanna utilize the gun and I wanna utilize the shield to my advantage. And so I just gave him more of a dynamic kind of aerial like shooting pose. So this is something that I generally like. I do actually really love um, the beam rifle on the red frame stray. I know, I know a lot of people is really just gonna hover around the you know katanas, but you know what? There's something just to be cherished about the classic you know beam rifle and the shield. So yeah, this is just kind of like what I wanted to you know put together as the first pose. Uh, just essentially you know I, I would say push off the leg because it's almost as, little, as, as if he's like kind of you know strafing to the side. Um, so I would just you know put one leg down like that and then you know the extended leg is where you want to pretty much lean the entire body to uh, but yeah oh overall I think it looks fine looks pretty decent uh, but yeah you can go ahead and take a look right here And here is the second pose. Uh, so pretty much what I want to utilize is the beam saber. Just I know we're, we're gonna get to the sword, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the beam sabers. The uh, beam effect parts are actually pretty decent. Uh, they do have a little bit of kind of like a um, kind of like a little effect going on at the more base of the beam effect. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the feet, I just, I really love spreading those feet apart, you know, kind of more in a very dynamic look, uh, having the hand just kind of coming across the body, just really prepared to slash any enemies that's about to come his way. But regardless, it looks great. Um, the posability is just is superb. And the flexibility, articulation, all that is just top notch. So overall, I'm really satisfied with this pose and it's honestly one of those poses I would love to put on my shelf. But without further ado, let's move on to the third pose. So with the third pose, I just wanted to play around with the katana. Um, honestly, there's so many poses I could put this, you know, kid in when it comes to the katana. It's it's actually pretty ridiculous. 
And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be in the same predicament. You're going to constantly change the pose of this kit on your shelf uh, because you want to see it in all those different action poses. You want to see it uh, with the beam rifle. You want to see it with like the beam sabers, the katanas, and especially when you get to the, to the katana, you're just going to have a, a, just so many different you know options at your arsenal so hey maybe go ahead and take it off the shelf every once in a while and put it to a different pose uh but regardless uh i think we actually have time for a, a bonus pose so uh let's just go and get into it And here is the bonus pose. Uh, so I decided to go with the low profile samurai pose, mainly because I just, I love low profile sword based kind of poses. So this just really tells the story that this mobile suit is very close quarters combat and he's probably gonna be very quick and agile just due to lack of, um, you know, a lot of armor being all over the kit. It's definitely gonna have that more exposed inner frame. So without a lot of that armor, he's definitely gonna be a little bit more quick. And he just, hey, has that pose ability to where he can crouch down really low and get in maybe on a weakness of an enemy, maybe enemy shooting and he just kinda crouches below all the beams and bam, slices the enemy in half or you know, however he's gonna do it. But yeah, that just tells the story of this mobile suit. I love, I just love everything about it. And this is just probably my favorite pose and the one I'm gonna permanently put, uh, put it in once it goes on my shelf. But that's it for me guys. I hope you do enjoy these videos. I hope you enjoyed all the poses I've shown you. Um, let me know in the comments section below if you do have this kit and if you do, you know, what pose did you decide to put it in? And uh, if you did not pick up the you know kit, tell me why or you know why you just haven't picked it up yet. But ultimately, if you do want this kit, you can definitely shop over at New Type, and you can utilize that promo code Krosama in order to get 10% off. So that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate you for watching. Like always, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.